Welcome to this quick presentation video of our course on ISO 8583 and transaction processing. Before we begin, just know that there is a free course on online PIN included in the free trial, so don't hesitate to sign up for it. Hi, my name is Hervé and I'm the instructor for this course. I have 10 years of strong technical experience in the account payment industry. I worked in companies like Gemalto, Overture, UL, and an EMV security lab. I worked on many aspects of the Astrex payment simulator, now owned by UL, which can simulate all the elements of the payment chain. So I gained in-depth knowledge of how all the different payment protocols work. But because I was often on client sites around the world, I also gained a good knowledge of how things are actually implemented in the field. And that's the experience I'm sharing with this course, not just the norms, but also industry standard practices. And what makes me qualified to teach this online course is that I developed a formal payment education program for South Africa. So I've interacted with students just like you, and I know what works in a technical training course and what doesn't. The context is like this. There are several different actors in the payment chain, and ISO 8583 is used by many of them to transport information. But transaction processing can be difficult to approach, because there is not much information freely available, and you need much more than access to a specification or a norm to get started. The worst kept industry secret is that there is no such thing as the ISO 8583 protocol. To start with, there are several versions of that norm. But more importantly, there are only protocols which are based on ISO 8583 and which use the norm to support business requirements with implementation choices. This course is designed to help you navigate this maze. 800 hours have gone into creating the course, which contains 10 hours of taught lessons, 22 exercise sheets to fully assimilate the learning, and 9 quizzes to test yourself. You'll get real practical expertise coming out. After taking this course, you'll understand the big picture. There are different players with different roles and expectations, and it's important that you understand that. You'll get a good understanding of the different data elements in the ISO 8583 norms. You'll be able to pass a raw ISO 8583 message. You'll see that with a bit of guidance, it's not that complicated. You'll understand how messages are converted from one system to another. You'll know how to follow a transaction from the POS terminal or ATM all the way to the card issuer. You'll be familiar with industry standard practices for transaction processing. And you'll know what is expected for compliance and certification. And those are two different things. Here's what's in it for you. You'll learn from an expert. Believe me, everything I teach, I've done so many times I could do with my eyes closed. You'll build your initial knowledge so you can start your upward momentum. As you increase your skills, your organization will allow you to work on more interesting projects and you get more skills. It's a virtuous cycle and this course will give you the spark to start it. This is an e-learning course so you can progress at your own speed and on your own schedule. It typically takes three to four full-time days to complete the course, but you can take it over a longer period, maybe just one or two hours a day, make it fit your schedule. The course is taught in a manner understandable by non-experts, from the ground up. There are no prerequisites. And you'll get a certificate when you complete the course. The learning path is one of increasing complexity, with building blocks to construct the ISO 8583 knowledge, and practical exercises and quizzes to keep you engaged. The course starts with the big picture, the non-technical, high-level information. It is followed by some technical fundamentals. This is to ensure that you have a solid IT base for ISO 8583 and they are supplemented with practical exercises. Based on those two blocks, you start your journey into the technical aspects of ISO 8583 with an overview of how messages are structured, followed by courses on message type identifiers, bitmaps, and length and format indicators. Those courses are supplemented with practical exercises so that you can apply those concepts. The journey continues with an in-depth review of all the ISO 8583 data elements, looking at the 1987 and 1993 norms and at how they are used in practice in the industry. This is also supplemented with practical exercises to help you grasp how those data elements are structured. 
The capstone of this review is a course on message parsing, where you learn how to extract information from a raw ISO 8583 message and perform parsing yourself. And the in-depth journey on ISO 8583 finishes with explanations on transaction flows and data element presence in messages. The course then zooms out of the low-level structure of ISO 8583 and teaches you how to perform analysis of individual messages, starting with network management messages, really focusing on authorization request messages, and also looking at authorization advice, financial messages, and reversals. Practical exercises with many different transaction samples are provided to help you construct real experience on message analysis. The course then zooms out once more and looks at the transactions from end to end. It follows ISO 8583 messages as they are generated by a payment terminal all the way to their authorization by a card issuer, going through the different message conversion processes where you can see the data elements that are converted, removed, and added as the message is processed by each actor of the payment chain and potentially changes version of ISO 8583. The course looks at MaxTripe, contactless MaxTripe, contact EMV, and contactless EMV transactions. And the final technical course is on online PIN, where you can see the hidden complexity that surrounds online PIN. Follow a full end-to-end -end online PIN transaction with the different HSM calls and learn how dynamic key exchange is handled by the different systems. The course concludes on the difference between brand compliance and certification, how they work, and what is expected by the brands. I created this course so that it can help everyone who needs strong payment transaction processing knowledge to be effective and efficient in their work. This includes roles in areas such as acquire host, payment processor switch, issuer host, payment terminal integration, troubleshooting transaction failures for banks or acquirers, chip card issuance, consulting in any of those areas, and many more. Thank you for watching this presentation video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us through the contact menu or by email at team at paytech-academy.com.